Hello everyone, this is Project Darkshine and welcome to my new Let's Play for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Okay, let us begin. Damn, it's not happening as fast as I wanted. Eh, uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, let's go with Hermione. I was thinking of playing as Ron, but... yeah. The villagers of Little Hangleton still called it the Riddle House. Half a century ago, a servant had found all three riddles dead. Perhaps if we were to do it without the boy, my lord. No. Harry Potter is as good as mine. It is decided. <laughs> Harry Potter and his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger traveled by portkey to the Quidditch World Cup final where they saw Ireland defeat Bulgaria. Later that night, a gang of Death Eaters, followers of Lord Voldemort, rampaged across the campsite. Arthur Weasley sent Harry, Ron and Hermione back to the portkey. Okay, just apologies if you heard any car noises in the background. Some idiot came with a really loud car, so... Yeah, they ruined my cutscene. Anywho, yeah, uh, this game, very different to the others. I have seen so many, but not until, like, yesterday did I actually see anyone else say that they like this game, because everyone's always saying how crap it is, but I think it is good. Yes, it's different to the others, but do we really want them all to be the same? And I quite like it actually, it's very enjoyable. So yeah, it, it's a lot more action than the others like. Just uh, heaps of fighting, you know, like heaps of battles, basically the whole thing's shooting the crap out of things. But yeah, it, it's good, I like it, so yeah. Yeah, and there's also the whole like working together thing for certain things. If it can't be, you know, lifted, for example, with just. And how the hell did I get back there? But yeah, stuff like this where you gotta work together. The only annoying thing is, like, if you, it's just you playing, along with, like, the other characters being played by themselves, um, they can be really slow and annoying. That's the downside. But if you play with a friend, obviously, it's gonna be better. More dug box? Yes. So I'm thinking this part will be just Quidditch World Cups, uh, like this Quidditch World Cup scene, and um, I'm hoping to get the next bit, the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts lessons, into one part as well. And then after that I'll just fit as much together as I can, but I'll sort of make it the, so like if there's one part and I'm getting more than one shield in that part um, like the shields will all be from the same place like I won't have a part where I get a shield from you know Forbidden Forest and a shield from Prefect's bathroom like I'll sort of make it from the same place sort of thing if that makes sense I'm just trying to explain to you how it's gonna work so you know but yeah and yeah you'll see Death Eaters popping up in random places in flashes of blue light then they disappear again so yeah, back when we first see the Death Eaters, they have pointy hoods, and after that, I think they gave up on the pointy hoods because when they reappear in Order of the Phoenix, they're just normal hoods. So yeah, a bit of a change in the costume department. Yeah, this game's got a lot of explosions, fires, you know, the lot. Action game, that's what it is. And they've got the leveling systems, so you've got different levels, unlike the other games. So, I can see how people would be surprised with this game after playing, like, you know, Prison of Azkaban, because it's really different. And I think this is the first game where the game was the same on all the consoles, not counting, like, Game Boy, for example. Like, it's the same on PS2, PC, 
um, probably came on Xbox, I'm assuming. So yeah. Whereas with the other games, they're very different on all the different consoles. Like Chamber of Secrets, PS2, can, and Chamber of Secrets PS1, and Chamber of Secrets PC are all quite different. But this game is pretty much the same as far as I know. Because I've seen some Let's Plays. I've seen a Let's Play of someone playing it on PC and it looked exactly the same. Except for obviously the controls, but you know. That's obvious. Anywho, here. No, it's not. Sorry. I thought that was a bit soon, but the port key is on a bridge as well, but not that bridge. <gasps> Can I not get hit? Yes, I got past without getting hit. Awesome. Evil laugh. Come on, guys, help me. Like this. Help me. Yeah. Too bad he disappears before he falls to his death. And the port key. What is that? Oh. It's the dark mark, Harry. It's his mark. Voldemort, get to the port key. Good old Mr. Beasley. What is the function of a rubber duck? It's probably my favourite line of his. Okay, guys, that was really short part and just I think defense against the dark arts is that two lessons or three lessons that we have I think it's two so oh we're still class as a beginner I'm hoping to get real good but if I remember correctly through the history of me playing this game I've been able to get about um oh I think it's 39 shields, or it was either 37, 38, or 39. But yeah, I think that's my record of shields, so I'll be trying to get all of them in this Let's Play. So, thank you for watching, and I shall see.